Hi, this is Kaylee, and we're going to work on multiplying two-digit numbers together. And there's a lot of new ways that people are doing this that, fr quite frankly, kind of confuse me. They're doing slash lines and boxes and everything else. I'm just going to show you how to do it the old school way. So let's say we've got 29 times, make sure that it looks like an X, times 47. And you should already know your multiplication tables from 1 to 9. And that makes this a lot easier. But let's take a look at this. So 7 times 9 is 63. So I'm going to put the 3 down here. And I'll carry the 6. I'm going to put it over here too. Just to kind of as an example. And it's because we're going to add that to the next one. So 7 times 2 is 14. But we already have the 6 there. So that gives us a total of 20. So I'm going to put 20 down here. Now normally we do that in our heads, but I want to try to write it out on the paper. Now we got that taken care of. We're going to, have to put a 0 there to carry this place because we're now we're moving over to the 4. So 4 times 9 is 36. So again, I'm going to put the 6 down. And I'm going to put the 3 up, carry it. I'm also going to do it over here. So 4 times 2 is 8, but we already have 3. So that makes a total of 11. So put 11 here. And now I'm just going to add these two numbers up. So 3, 6, 2 times 1 is 3. Bring the 1 down. So 29 times 47 is 1,363. We can do this another way. What if we multiplied... 47 times 29. Basically the same two numbers except in a different order. Instead of 47 times 29, we do 29 times 47. 6 times 3, 3 times 6. You should get the same thing. But let's just double check. More practice. So 9 times 7 is again 63. I'll carry the 3 down. Bring the 6 up. 9 times 4 is 36. So we already got a 6, so that's going to be a 2, bring a 1 up, so it's going to be 42. 2 times 7, put that placeholder there, 2 times 7 is 14, so 4 comes down, 1 goes up. 2 times 4 is 8, but we already have a 1, so that makes a 9. Now we're going to add these numbers together. 3 plus 0 is 3. 4 plus 2 is 6. 9 plus 4 is 13. And we get the exact same answer. So it doesn't matter the order as long as you keep the number the same. You can't mix and match the numbers. But 29 times 47, 47 times 29, both give you the same answer. Now what you can do is set things up so you maybe have a little bit easier math. So let's say I want to multiply 25 and um, 67. Let's say I want to multiply 25 and 67. Now I could multiply it like this, but that leaves me the, a little bit harder math, I think, at least psychologically. I would rather, since we could do it either 25 times 67 or 67 times 25, I would rather do it like this, 67 times 25 because it's easier for you to multiply by fives and twos than sixes and sevens so five times seven is 35 so five comes down three goes up I'll keep that three over here five times six is 30 we already have a three so that makes 33 2 times 7 is 14. Don't forget the place order. So 4. Carry that one up. 2 times 6 is 12. But we already have that one, so now it's 13 that we're going to actually write down here. And then we can add those numbers up. So that would be 5. 4 plus 3 is 7. 3 plus 3 is 6. And bring the 1 down. So 67 times 25 or 25 times 67 gives us 1,675. All right, well, go ahead and practice your multiplication tables. 
Tune in again for some more math and a whole lot more physics. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll talk to you again. Goodbye.